Last week, we told you about the staffing shortages impacting frontline Toronto paramedics. But now, we're looking at the challenges facing those who take your emergency calls. Ones that at certain times of the day could maybe leave you waiting on hold for minutes. At the Toronto Paramedics Communication Centre, the staff play a key role in dispatching ambulances to emergency scenes after getting the call through the Toronto Police 911 Centre. But in recent weeks, City News has heard from emergency personnel not authorized to speak publicly about irregular occasions where callers have had to wait several minutes to get through. A statement to City News by QP Local 79, the union that represents paramedic call takers and dispatchers, says a halt on hirings during COVID-19 and a heavy workload have impacted staff. Quote, as a result, a seven to eight minute response time is unfortunately not an isolated or uncommon occurrence. Our communication centre is recognised as a, an accredited centre of, of excellence. During an interview about shortages impacting frontline paramedics, we asked Deputy Chief Jennifer Shield about recent occasional reports of lengthy wait times. She didn't confirm or deny it, instead saying, We're a very busy communication centre. We process or we receive over 300,000 calls a year. And of those calls, 96% are answered in 10 seconds. Shield said 10 new call takers have been hired so far this year, and another 10 are set to come on board, but it's not clear how many vacancies still exist. Emergency required police by our ambulance. Toronto's Auditor General recently probed wait times at the Toronto Police Communication Centre, the first point of contact for anyone calling 911. Beverly Romeo Beeler's office found almost every day in 2021, there were times when 90% of calls weren't answered within 15 seconds the minimum standard. I think call centers are very busy places where seconds count and everybody involved wants to make the right decisions and dispatch the help as quickly as possible. Deputy Mayor Stephen Holliday heads up the city's audit committee, which will be hearing from the AG on Monday about her findings. She called for more operators and other technological improvements to gather better data. Also, a push to do public education to reduce non-essential calls to 911, something Holliday endorses. The Auditor General lays out a number of steps that both the Toronto Police Service board and the city of toronto and the city council can do to support these operations these things are truly important because lives are at stake for more on the story visit citynews.ca in toronto nick westall city news